Thank you very much. Uh, let me uh, take the opportunity to thank all my colleagues because I know we were supposed to vote this morning and we make the effort to come back. So we're going to very quick make sure we vote and we can uh, uh, go back to your, to your businesses. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Matthew Eugene and I'm the chair of the Civil and Human Rights Committee. Today the committee will be voting on three bills. Proposing to all bill number 752A, sponsored by my colleague council member Lori Combo, which would uh, codify the Office of uh, Diversity and Inclusion within the Department of Citywide Administration Services, and two bills that I'm proud to have introduced or proposed in through bill number 755A, requiring the Equal Employment and Practices uh, Commission to analyze and report annually on citywide racial and ethnic classification on their utilization and propose into a bill number 756A, which would require the Department of Citywide Administration Services to review and report annually on the city's effort to collect racial and ethnic demographic information, including the re a review of racial classification categories and employee response rate. As one of the most diverse cities in the country and one of the New York City's biggest employers, it is a vital that the, the city's civil service reflect the people it serves. This is especially, especially important because uh, according to US Census Bureau, historically one route to upward social mobility has been employment and local government. As the most recent data available makes clear, currently there are certain groups whose participation in the city's workforce remain low. City laws and policies require, require agencies to draft specific uh, procedures that follow equal employment opportunity guidelines, but uh, there is concern that these uh, processes are vague and do not identify our agency, our agencies are not compliant, making it difficult to remedy. To improve the current uh, processes, intro 752A will establish an Office of Diversity and Inclusion within the Department of Citywide Administration Services, DCAS. The office would uh, be responsible for creating uh, specific uh, directives and policies and procedures and the measurable goals that endeavor to diversify the city's workforce. Ensuring that the data collected by administration is clear and accessible is vital and that is why I have introduced into 755A and intro 756A. Intro 755A reflects the Council's concern that there is uh, an underutilization of various groups within the city agencies. Intro 755A would therefore require the Equal Employment and Practices Commission, EEPC, which is uh, an independent non-mayoral city entity to report annually and whether agencies are meeting their equal employment opportunity goal and when they are not, the EEPC would be required to specifically identify and provide corrective recommendation to address on their utilization. My bill into 756A will, uh, would uh, therefore require the DCAS to review its racial classification categories and make recommendations for how to improve the use of categories. This bill would also require DCAS to annually report on the city's effort to collect diversity data and the response rates from employees. Before we vote, I would like to thank uh, the committee staff, Abani Ayuja, 
concealment to the community, Lias script pack, policy analyst, and Neven Nansing, financial analyst, as well as my staff, David Suarez. I want to uh, thank also Council Member Ben Carlos, Council Member Ellen Rosenthal, Council Member Dan Daniel Drum, and Council Member Bart Bartland. Uh, now, do we have any statement from any members? No? Would you please uh, call the vote? We, Martin Committee Clerk, will call vote Committee on Civil and Human Rights, Introduction 752A, 755A, and 756A. Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Drum. Aye. Kalos. Aye. Lander. Aye. Rosenthal. Aye. By vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you very much, and the meeting is adjourned.